Hello everyone, welcome back to another English language video. Today we are looking at the AQA GCSE English language paper 2, question 2, which is worth 8 marks. So the question reads, you need to refer to source A and source B for this question. The children at the cinema in source A and the children at the factory in source B have different experiences of childhood. Use details from both sources to write a summary of what you understand about the different experiences of the children. So as you can see, I've highlighted some key words or key phrases within the question. So we can establish already that both sources have different experiences of childhood. OK, so, you know, you would be finding quotes to show how they are different. So as you can see here, I will underline the word different experiences of childhood. Use details from both sources to write a summary. So you have to write a summary. So there is no need for you to analyze language. There is no need for you to analyze structure. To write a summary of what you understand about the different experiences of the children. So you have to find evidence from the text to show how they have different experiences. So in terms of the assessment objective criteria, what do you have to do? So first of all, Identify and interpret explicit and implicit information. So explicit is the obvious information and implicit is the not so obvious information. So this question is requiring you to use your inference. And second of all, after the first one, is to select and combine evidence from different texts. So as you write your answer, you must show evidence to show the differences between source A and source B. How to score top marks? What do you have to do to score the top marks for this question? First of all, use evidence well from both texts. Second of all, show detailed understanding of differences between the information. So that's very important. You must show detailed understanding of the text. So how do you do this? By showing a range of quotations. The next point is to combine information from different sources. So see if you can make any connections of how they are different uh, in terms of the explicit differences, what are the obvious differences and what the not so obvious uh, differences. Offer perceptive interpretation of both texts as well. So read between the lines, use your inference to show the examiner what those differences are. In terms of time, you should spend up to 12 minutes on this question. But to be honest, a lot of students can finish, finish this question within, uh, I would say, 10 minutes. So anything more than 12 minutes, that's taking too long for the question. Here we have a question to template. So you may begin with something like source A tells us dot dot dot. This implies and then you explain what this shows or what this suggests. And then you may want to counter or show the uh, op uh, opposing side by using but, alternatively, whereas, in contrast, and make this comparison with source B. Source B tells us dot dot dot, indicating that dot dot dot. So you tell us what the difference is between the two sources. And preferably, as I've written here, you should try to look for at least, I would say maybe at least two uh, two quotations from each text. So two for source A, and two for source B. Now, some things uh, or some tips in terms of question question two, the do's and the don'ts. So you do, you do not need to write about language methods as this question is not looking at language or structure. You're not expected to comment on language and structure, so no need to do this, okay? Don't spend too long on this question. As mentioned before, it's only eight marks. So you should spend up to 12 minutes and then move on to the next question. In terms of the things you should do, you must explore a range, okay, a range of differences with evidence, okay? So throughout the text, you should try to find a range of quotations. Make perceptive inferences. This is an inference question, it's very important, okay? It's looking at how you infer the text, what you understand, what conclusion you come to from reading the, reading the text, source A and source B. And finally, this is a template for structuring question two for language paper two. You start off with the statement for source A, and then you move on to the quotation for source A. Then you provide inference for source A, and then make a link and show how it's different. So that would be one paragraph. 
And then paragraph two, same thing. You provide a statement for source B, a quotation for source B, provide inference, make sure you're perceptive and detailed with your inference. And finally, you show a link or difference in terms of source A and source B. So this is something that you can follow to answer question two of language paper two. Yes, it's only eight marks, but you should be aiming for eight out of eight for this question because it's easy marks to pick up, especially as it's... Uh, it should take you out most 10 minutes for this question. I hope this has given everyone a better understanding of how to approach the AQA English language paper two, question two, and have a go at this question under exam conditions following this template. And also remember, like I said, be, be familiar with the mark scheme, write an answer tailored to the mark scheme. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share for more.